When Emefiere took the new note to Buhari, it was Buhari who said he should use local printer. Hey, Chief Edwin Clark has, has spoken. <laughs> now, wow. And uh, meanwhile, the, what is his name? Jim Obaze, the special investigator for Tinubu on the CBN issue, is saying that Buhari did not know about the changing of the Nara note, that it was Tunde Sabiu, the PA to Buhari, that was the person that instructed the uh, uh, MFL to go ahead and MFL went ahead. Yeah? Can you see lie coming from that investigation? That is to tell you that all the investigation that is done by this administration is not going to work. But let's get into the details. And a John leader and elder statesman, Pa Edwin Clark, has alleged that the former CBN governor, Godwin MFL, had intended to print the new Nara notes abroad. But Former President Muhammad Ubari intervened, instructing the use of a local printer. He claimed that the decision was influenced by the fact that the managing director of the local printing company was related to the in-law of Mr. President. He explained how the former Minister of Finance, Zainab Ahmed, was ignorant about the Naira redesign and how MFLA reportedly went back to President Buhari for approval. And he also pointed out that quite contrary to the finance minister's stance on the Naira redesign, Buhari intentionally did not heed her advice. Can you imagine? He said in an interview with Channel TV when the Minister of Finance, Zainab Ahmed, was questioned, she said she knew nothing about the changes, even though the financial control of the central bank is within her hands, while the central bank man is in the monetary aspect. Now, it was at that stage during the criticism that MFLA went back to Mr. President and the president did not listen to his uh, Minister of Finance. So if anybody says Buhari was not consulted, it is a lie. Exactly. It is a lie. Exactly. Uh -huh. Perhaps nobody knows about this. MFLA was not was to print this new currency abroad. And when he MFLA took the new notes to Wari, it was Wari who said he should use a local printer because his wife's brother was the managing director of those who printed this money. So it was Buhari who did it. If he had taken it abroad, he would even print enough money. Exactly. He could have printed enough money. And apart from printing enough money, the quality would have been good because the one of the cries that people had with spending the new note is because of the bad quality. You put it in your pocket, all the paint will wash into your pocket. Anywhere you put it, the whole thing will wash. And that questions the security feature of the money. And how can you put a local printing contractor to print our money. Now he will go with all the security properties and features of the money. Eh? That is a very serious security compromise on our currency. And tomorrow, if they start printing fake notes, you tell me that you don't know. Eh? And those people now will go back and be printing fake money and nobody will know. Ha. Huh. Now, wow. So now people will know that when Jim Obaze, the special investigator to CBN uh, that Tinubu appointed, is saying that Buari did not know about the printing and the everything about the new currency note, it, it shows that it's a lie. And that means that the report of that young man is already compromised, completely compromised, because the truth is not coming out. And all is because Tinubu is trying to make sure that Buhari is not roped into the CBN saga. That is it. And I'm sure there must be a kind of um, understanding between Tinubu and Buhari to make sure that Buhari is not roped into the matter. And that is why Buhari had the boldness to tell all the ministers that work with him that nobody should invite him to any court of law to come and testify. Anybody that does that will bear the consequence. It was a threat statement that he made when he was leaving office. Can we see what we are seeing now? And look at what uh, Edwin Clark is also saying. So, let me see. There are a few comments now on what Edwin Clark has just uh, said. Let's hear some people say. Some say, Buari is supposed to be skinned alive honestly. This man is not only stupid, he is selfish, empty-headed. It will not be wrong to say this man was just living in the past. I mean, Stone Age. And I remember Mrs. Jonathan warning Nigerians during the campaign, but some useless tribes were abusing her calling her names if they are the only educated 
as if they're only educated people in the world. Today, where are we? Exactly. We remember when Buhari wife, sorry, Jonathan wife was saying that Buhari is brain dead. She, she too did not understand what to say. So she just gave it her own name. That the man is brain dead. <laughs> now, wow. And somebody said, everybody knew it was Buhari that committed all the crimes that was allegedly committed by Mephele. There is no rightful person that will think otherwise, except that person is not on this planet. Even his supposedly uh, context for the presidency by paying the 100 million naira for the form was all Muhammad Buhari's um, uh, handiwork just to make sure and block the Jagaban Bogu from being the party's flag bearer. Because he, Buhari, knew that anything or ways the Jagaban grab the ticket, it's all one way traffic and and uh, done deal. So nobody born of a woman can stop him. So today, the rest is history. Jagaban is the president and Buhari is now uh, a lame man, dumb and dead in anything relating to the uh, trauma and pains that MFLA found himself. So if MFLA is let go and given total freedom today, go and see no more, it should be noted that it is um, it is just on a humanitarian consideration from Jagaban and not his MFLA's right because Buari is gone, gone forever. No one, no more power, no more words, no more authority, no matching order. So if he talks anyhow, he will be, he will see anyhow. <laughs> you know, he's your, so he dead, so that means they don't give a name there. Uh, up Buhari, the corruption fighter. Exactly. He came on the mantra of fighting corruption, telling the whole world that he was going to come and remove corruption. And I was saying, a book, full and philosophy has destroyed Nigeria. Um, as long as these people will continue rule, Nigeria can't progress because of their mindset. Exactly. Some tribal bigots were denigrating Jonathan administration based on their hatred. They had the hatred they have for the minority. Today, how far for you, Sai Baba? Exactly. How far for all of you? Hmm? How far for all of you? So we know that Buhari is actually the brain behind all of these things. But we also know that Tinubu will never go after Buhari. Never. Tinubu will never go after Buhari. It will never happen. Okay, so that, that is why the report that they are doing, the severe investigation is going to be doctored in such a way that Buhari will not be touched. I know and I practically know that Buhari will not be touched. The man is resting in his house. So carry your cross. That is his own. Tinubu, go and solve the problem. So thank you for listening and let's have your comment.